Good morning, students. Welcome to RPS Group of School online classes for the subject science. Today, we will discuss module three, which is a continued part of the chapter sources of food. Students, in the previous module, we discussed sources of food that we obtain from plants, and we discussed sources of food that we get from animals. Today, in this module three, we will discuss the various food habits of different animals and accordingly their categorization as herbivores, carnivores and omnivores. We will also discuss a term called vegetarianism. Students, you must be knowing that non-green plants and all animals, including human beings, cannot prepare their food. They depend directly or indirectly on the plants or other animals for their food. Green plants can prepare their food and thus they are called autotrophs. Non-green plants and all animals cannot prepare their food and thus they are called heterotrophs. Different animals eat different kinds of food. Their body parts are adapted to the kind of food they eat. Mouth of various animals are adapted in such a way that it suits its eating habits. So, the different kind of animals based on different food habits are herbivore. These animals are plant-eating animals. Then, carnivore. These animals are flesh-eating animals. They kill other animals and feed on their flesh. The third category is omnivore. They feed both on plants and animal flesh. So now let's study it one by one. Herbivores. Herb means plant and the word means eater. Animals which eat only plants and plant products are called herbivores. For example, elephant, goat, cow, buffalo, rabbit, horse, sheep, deer, zebra, giraffe, these all are called herbivores. What are the special features of these herbivores? Herbivores have sharp cutting teeth in front to pull the plants off the ground and flat grinding teeth at the back to chew the food. Herbivores like cow and camel have the ability to bring back previously swallowed food to the mouth for chewing it the second time. This process of chewing the food is called chewing of cud. This helps them to absorb most of the nutrients from the hard to digest food like grass. Some other animals are like squirrels, have a pair of broad, sharp edged front teeth, which are incisors in each jaw. They use these teeth to gnaw food items like nuts. Herbivores like butterfly and hummingbird do not need to worry about chewing their food. They have mouth parts which are shaped like straw to suck nectar from the flowers. Now let's talk about carnivores. Animals which eat flesh of other animals are called carnivores. The term carni means flesh and the term vor means eater. The examples of carnivorous animals are lion, tiger, leopard, crocodile, lizard, vulture, owl, wolf, etc. 
what are the special features that these carnivorous animals have? Carnivores like lion and tiger have sharp and pointed front teeth called canines. They also have sharp claws and powerful jaws which help them to tear the flesh. Carnivorous birds like eagle have curved pointed beaks that allow them to tear flesh. Frog and lizards use their long tongue to catch their prey. When frog or lizard spots an insect, it sticks out its long tongue outside and catches the insect and engulf it. Carnivorous fish like shark have several small sharp teeth that help them bite off chunks of flesh. Let's talk about omnivorous animals. These animals eat both plants and animals. For example, dog, cat, crow, even human beings are all examples of omnivores. The word omni means all and the whole means eater. Omnivores have sharp teeth like carnivores, but they also have flat teeth like herbivores. Usually, the canine teeth are in front of the mouth, which allows omnivores to bite pieces of meat. But the flat teeth are usually behind the sharp teeth, which allows them to chew all their food. Omnivores can get their food more easily because they can eat more types of food than either herbivores or carnivores. Now let's talk about scavengers. The animals that eat flesh of dead animals are called scavengers. They help in cleaning the environment. Scavengers have an important role to play in the food chain. They keep an ecosystem free of the bodies of dead animals and their decaying flesh. Scavengers break down this organic material and recycle it into the ecosystem as nutrients. For example, vultures who are scavengers only eat the bodies of dead animals. Now let's talk about vegetarianism. People who do not eat meat and eggs are called vegetarians. People who eat plant food as well as meat and eggs are called non-vegetarians. Students, it is important to know that there is a difference between vegetarians and herbivores. Why? Vegetarians make a conscious decision not to eat meat. Herbivores, on the other hand, are incapable of eating meat and dairy products. The same is with the carnivores. The carnivores lack the necessary enzymes in their stomachs to digest cellulose, which is a major component of green plants. And thus, they cannot feed on plants. With this, we end up module 3. Take care of yourself, students. Thank you. Have a nice day.